Hi, this is Chris with Stupid Raisins, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do motion tracking in Final Cut Pro. What the? Now I'm gonna share with you how to use the new motion tracker tool in Final Cut Pro to produce amazing results with callouts, titles, logos, and then we're gonna use the same tool with faces and we're gonna track them in order to create privacy or to bring focus to our subject. Let's check it out. Alrighty, we get to work with the motion tracker. Let's check this out here in Final Cut Pro. First thing I'm gonna do is I got this really nice drone shot here. I wanna track this, um, I wanna track this building here in the middle. And we're gonna add a title. So let's go ahead and click on the titles here. We're gonna look for custom, boom. And now before we drag this into our timeline or insert it into our timeline, we are going to drag this over and find what we wanna to track to. So this object is coming up real nice. So let's go ahead and let, let it choose that. Now the first thing you wanna do once you've established what's gonna be tracked throughout the shot is you want to come up here and click on analyze and you'll see it'll go forward in the shot, backwards in the shot, no matter where your playhead is at, and it will create that tracker, uh, almost like uh, the tracker timeline, which gets attached to this clip at the bottom. So we'll drag the title back over here. I'll take a moment to customize that. Okay, so that looks pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the beginning of this clip and press play. Now you'll notice while it is tracking very well, that text is doing a bit of a, like a rotation. Uh, there's a way to fix that. We're gonna click on the title and in this title, under the video settings, we'll come down here to transform and at the very far right next to the hide and show button is this new tracker option menu. So there's a couple things we can set to do. Obviously we want the position to be adjusted based on where the tracker is moving us, but we don't want the rotation anymore. So let's click that off. And look at that, much nicer. It's still tracking very nice, but it is not, it doesn't have that slight rotation to it. Here we've got a drone kind of sweeping over a city. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in a logo. So I've got one right here. We're gonna drag that over that spot there. Now to help us see, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the V key, which is going to allow us to just mute that, just disable that clip for a second. We'll center this on this rooftop here. Click Analyze. Do, 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 do. All right, now let's drag this logo over this clip, re-enable it, and we are going to adjust the scale. And let's play it back once the render is done. All these little dots, we wanna let those go. Yep. And look at that, it's tracking very nicely to that building. Nice, it's very smooth. So Now something you'll notice is if your footage is shaky, if it's not stabilized, if it's not a smooth drone shot, if it's not a smooth gimbal shot, or if you're not holding it steady or, or keeping it on a tripod or dolly, you might find that the motion tracker gets a little cranky and may not work as well as, as something as, as smooth as this shot that we have here as an, as an example. So something else that this tracker can do is track faces which is really awesome. Let's go to another title. We'll just bring in another custom. Again, instead of dragging it down here, we wanna bring it up. Well, we could find a, an object. We are going for the face. All right, and then before we do anything else, analyze. All right. So let's go ahead and change this title a little bit here. We'll adjust it over the top of this footage. All right, so we adjusted that to a nice look, match the color to the stripes on the shirt, 
picked a fun font, but what we notice is just like from earlier, we got that thing bouncing in a way that we're not wanting it to. So let's click on the transform, stop it from rotating. That's that, let that render, play it back, much nicer. If you're tracking with me so far, just know we release new videos like this all the time to help you with your Final Cut Pro 10 projects. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell so you can get notified when we release our next video. So we're gonna come back here to this, to this clip and we're gonna do what's called a, uh, a call out. So there's something in the, in the image that you've got some text and you've got an arrow, you've got a line that's pointing to something telling you about that, uh, giving you some detail or information about what's in the image. So we're gonna go ahead and do that with this one here. Let's change this to built in 1902. Don't quote me on that, I did not research this. <laughs> Could have been built in 1994 for all I know. All right, so what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna grab a generator. So we're gonna minimize the titles here, expand the generators. We're gonna look for the beam which is already showing up. We're gonna drag that onto here. Now it's gonna look nuts. So just bear with me for a moment. We're gonna change this glow all the way down to one. Bring that size down a little bit. Take out the saturation. So essentially we have sort of a grayish white line. And what we're gonna do with that from here is Scale that down a bit. And now we can start using some of the on-screen controls. And we're gonna match this up with the house. Let's move that over a bit. And in order to get this to track with the rest of the, the title, is we wanna go up to tracker, hit this arrow, and find this object track. So because that title was already on that motion tracker setting, we were able to sync up with that and have that line match up with it. So we're gonna configure the motion tracker to help out with adjusting the color and exposure in the image to bring focus and to highlight the, the subject on the left. So we're gonna go to the effects browser. Let's click on that, type in, Color. And we got the color board right here. So we're gonna drag that over to her face. And let's go ahead and let that analyze. We're gonna click on this color here. That takes us to the color board. And what I wanna do is come down here. So this mask, you can adjust the settings of the inside of that mask as well as the outside. So we want to adjust the outside because it's already nicely exposed. So what we want to do is bring down the global exposure. Very nice. So we got a little less focus on everything else. Maybe bring down the brightness a bit. Maybe even the shadows. And then we're going to desaturate everything but her. Just bring the global saturation down a, a bit. And then let's play that back. Already you can kind of feel that your focus is drawn towards her, but if we click done and uncheck, you'll see a drastic difference. And now you'll, no you'll notice that as you move this around in trying to find just the proper uh, guidelines for you here, you'll notice that this seems to be linked together. You'll move the shape and then it will move the tracker. So what we're gonna do is uncheck this. So this is like a chain, and this is to link or unlink the tracker from the shape. So we're gonna unlink that and click on the shape. And we're gonna bring this in and feather it out quite a bit. And the tracker is not affected. As you can see, you've got a separate, sort of like a mesh grid look for the tracker and just these uh, red circles for the uh, shape. Let's go ahead and click done. Let's check that out, see how that worked out. Looks really great. She's the focus of the image now. So we've taken a look at how motion tracking can enhance our footage with titles, uh, using objects and generators, logos, 
and even enhancing a certain part of the image over another with masking and tracking an individual or an object. All right, and with that, we've reached the end. Thanks for tagging along. Since we got that locked down, I have a free gift for you. A pack of Final Cut Pro plugins to enhance your videos and impress your clients. It's worth $138, but it's yours free. Click below to receive your free gift.